Yo, what's happening, Skywalker DFS family? You know who this is, the real one. Always 100, always controversial. The brash one, Gabriel Skywalker here from Skywalker DFS. Another weekend of winning, guys. Another weekend of winning at Skywalker DFS. Uh, I'm so happy. Uh, the MLB especially. I didn't get to play the afternoon slate because I had to go to the movies with the wife. You know, I had Sunday, so I got to do the family thing. But uh, the morning slate, we crushed it. Um, amazing. Amazing. I'm in the zone, man. I can't explain it. I'm just in the zone. You know what? I can't explain it. The matchups are finally aligning, and they're actually, these players are actually doing what they're supposed to do when they have the right matchup. That's all I got to say. All right? So... In case you don't know, if you're new to watching my videos, I do offer a free service that nobody else in the industry offers. offers sorry. Uh, let me get a drink here. Cheers. I run a free chat, guys, which consists of all my lineups. We got all sports in there, guys. We got MLB. We got NBA. We got tennis going tonight. NASCAR. MMA. We Some guys are betting on freaking video game tournaments you know what i'm saying so we got everything going we are about 340 people strong in there also most importantly we got the dfs club in there throw it up too sweet dfs whisperer shout out to aj and easy those are my brothers check them out for our membership guys they work with you they are not expensive at all all right reach out to them they'll work with you on pricing they win every day so then you got LJ Sports, and then you got DC from DFS Space. They're in there. I'm in there with all my lineups. You got 340 people sharing their lineups, their info, their their cheat sheets, their everything, guys. You can't go wrong. You can't beat it. Take advantage of this free service, guys. I can already tell these big dogs that charge you 150 or more a month for their services are starting to... They're starting to notice me. They're putting thumbs down on my videos. And so they're scared. They're scared, guys. They're scared. But you know what? We ain't going nowhere. We're just going to get bigger and bigger. I only need 11 more subscribers to reach 1,000, guys. 11 more. That is it. So all you got to do to get in this free chat is subscribe to my channel and hit me up on Twitter. I'll leave my Twitter handle in the link below. Sorry, in the description below. And you're in that free chat, guys. Get ready for winning. Get ready for free money. Get ready for get ready to go to school. All right. For those of you out there that are just playing GPPs and wondering why you're not winning and wondering why you keep making deposits, I will show you the way, guys. All right. There is a system that you must play in DFS to be successful. Got to do it. That's the only way. I'm t I'm telling you right now. If you you're losing, if you're playing, G all you're doing is playing GPPs. You're just losing, all right? So, let's get into it. Tomorrow's MLB slate, it is Monday. Mondays, I love Mondays. We got a Coors Field game. I mean, we got some great matchups. Before we get into it real quick, let's get the homework out the way. We got Draft Dashboard here. The best optimizer on the planet. A must-have for the MLB season, guys. Hands down. I'm offering Draft Dashboard to you for $1 for 30 days. I'll leave the link in the description below. With that dollar, you get saved. You get access to all my saved lineups. You get access to my watch players. You get the lineup optimizer, which gives you all the lineups that you want that consists of all my watch players, all your watch players, and who Draft Dashboard thinks you should play. You got your player trends. You got your sleepers and studs of the slate. You got your position optimizer. This breaks down everybody for you. What their history is, what their OPS is, lefties versus righties, what the pitcher's history is versus that particular team, how they've been doing the last three to five games, what's their history. I mean, it breaks everything down, guys. And then you got your MLB cheat sheet, because like we say, if you can't win, cheat. I'm going to click on it, show you guys. You get all this for a dollar. You get the best locks of the slate. Top pitchers in good spots. You get your stud bats over 4K. Mid-range bats between 3.5 and 4K, which is generally where you want to go. 
uh, value bats under 3.5K. And the best part of it, home run hitters in good spots, guys, because you ain't winning cash games and you sure as fuck ain't winning GPPs without some home runs in your lineup. All right. This is Draft Dashboard. $1 for 30 days, guys. Take the Draft Dashboard Challenge. All right. No obligation. No bullshit. If you don't like it, cancel it. That's it. At least you can say, hey, Skywalker, I tried it. Wasn't for me. But to this day, I have not gotten that response. So I'm kind of proud of that. So let's get into my watch players for manana. And uh, by the way, go Warriors. All right. I've had this jersey since high school. All right. KD's back. KD's going to play tomorrow. I know he is. I got an inside scoop. So fuck the Raptors. No no offense to the Toronto fans, but uh, sorry. You're going down in seven. Off the tops, we got uh, Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts, three for seven. Lifetime versus Minor tomorrow, guys. Uh, batting 425. Two doubles, one home run. And he's only 4-5. So... I'll take four or five Mookie bets all day long. He has all green all across. That's what you want to look for here. All right. Next up, we got Kyle Schwerber at Coors Field tomorrow going up against Marquez. Marquez is a good pitcher. Don't get me wrong, but it's Coors Field. He's batting 500 versus Marquez. Three singles, one double, guys. I mean, we got to get some Cubs tomorrow. It's plain and simple. Um, next up, we got... Um, Starting pitcher, I got you some value guys, not the obvious ones that you're going to start. I got you uh, Ekhoff tomorrow. Um, in that fucking – wait, hold up. Yeah, they need to update this. So it says he's he's going up against the Diamondbacks, which he's not. Um, he's going up against Arizona tomorrow. So Arizona – yeah, no, that's right. I'm tripping tonight, guys. It's been a long weekend of winning, all right? Just let me tell you that. I don't edit my videos either, so what you get is what you see is what you get, all right? I don't give a fuck if I fuck up on these things because, like I always say, call myself, I am the real one. It don't matter. So against the Diamondbacks, they're only hitting 182 against him. He's only 7-1. He's capable. What's his history? He's only faced him once. He got on 11 last three games, 19-10. Minus three, ouch, 10, and then a minus three. So, but it looks like his last two, he's been getting better, which I I like. And especially for 7-1, you can do worse. You, probably good SP2 for you DraftKing players, all right? Next up, we got Gregory Polanco going up against Gausman tomorrow. Four for 12 lifetime, two singles, one home run. OPS versus righties is 785, so... He's only 4-5. Get some of them Pirates tomorrow. I think that game's just going to be high scoring, period. Pittsburgh ATL. I haven't had the chance to look at the Vegas, what the uh, implied run total is yet, but I just, I know baseball. I know matchups. I don't, I, sometimes I don't even need to look at that shit. But next from the same game, we got Sterling Marte versus Gosman. He's 5 for 8, batting 625, three singles, two doubles, guys. I'm telling you, it's going to be high scoring on both ends, okay? But get some of this Pittsburgh action, too. And he's 5-1. So if you got to pick one of the two, Marte's got the better record. Um, and he's probably probably more likely to hit a, a home run out of the two. All right? That's just my opinion. Next up, we got Marcus Simeon. Oakland versus Tampa Bay. This should be a good series. Tampa Bay is red hot right now. So is Marcus Simeon. He's 736 OPS versus righties. Going up against Charlie Morton. Batting 375. One single, two doubles. I think Simeon's due for a home run, guys. He's been getting base hits, doubles, triples, base hits, doubles. I mean, he's going to hit one out. That's my opinion. He's only 3-7. Next up, we got Yon Manaka. Chicago White Sox, guys. Going up against Dirty Sanchez. Two for six lifetime hitting 333, two home runs. So both hits against Dirty Sanchez, guys. Young, he's gotten two HRs, and he's 4-4. I like those odds. All right. Next up, another Oakland Athletic here. This guy cannot play second base for shit. He's made so many throwing errors from second base to first base. 
Like, I don't know what his – he's a professional baseball player for fuck's sake. You know what I mean? But thank God you don't get dinged for, for defense on uh, fantasy. But look at his matchup tomorrow against Morton. He's batting 500 against him. He's three for six, two singles, one double. Um, and he's only three, two. So love that. I'm trying not to give you guys the obvious place. I'm trying to give you guys some value here. So I know what you're thinking. You know, what about Trout? What about fucking Nolan Orion? You know, no, you guys already know to play those guys. I'm trying to get you the value here. All right. And then next up, we got Starling Castro going up against Waka Waka Waka, that goddamn Muppet. Batting 481 lifetime against him, 13 for 27. Seven singles, two doubles, four home runs. Now, I know Sterling Castro is 120 years old, but that is quite the history. And Waka, that fucking Muppet, he ain't that good of a pitcher. So don't be afraid to stack some Marlins tomorrow. Dude, go against everybody else. Next up, we got Jose Abreu against Dirty Sanchez. He's batting 500. All right. 13 for 26, eight singles, three doubles, two home runs. And look at this. The best part, he's only 4-2. So I will be definitely getting me some Abreu tomorrow. Then we got Luke Voigt tomorrow from the Yankees, guys. Going up against, uh, uh, is it Var- yeah, Vargas? Vargas had a complete game last game. So maybe it, I don't know. I don't know what to think of that yet. But his OPS versus lefties sticks out to me. It's 914. Voight pretty much either hits home runs or gets you doubles. He doesn't really do singles. He don't steal bases, but he's only 4-4. So if he gets that one home run, there you go. That crushes that value. And that OPS versus righties, I mean, or excuse me, lefties, that can't be the nine. That's almost a 1,000. Next up, speak of the devil, Vargas tomorrow. He's only 7-6. Again, going off, coming off against that complete game, the Yankees really don't scare me because they're so injured and depleted. Lifetime, they're batting 333 against them. But like I said, he just came off that complete game last time he pitched. And look at his last two game, a 42 and a 20. And at 7-6, if he can get somewhere in between a 42 and a 20, he crushes that value. That's what someone you'll get, you're paying 12 K for it, pitcher. That's what they'll get you. So I do like the value on Vargas, guys. I might go with Vargas as, should dare I say, in a GPP, a SP1. I don't know. We'll see. I could. Next up, we got Cameron Maben from the New York Yankees. He owns Vargas. Five for eight, lifetime. 625 batting average. Five singles, though. So singles don't really win you tournaments or... GP, GPPs, tournaments, cash games, but cash games is, you know, they can win you cash games. Cash games, you don't have to score nearly the amount of points as you do for GPPs in order to cash. In case you don't know, you'd be surprised how many people don't know that. I get some subscribers who actually still don't know what the difference is between a GPP and a cash game. So I'm here to help. That's why I'm here, guys. So he's only 3-6. He want part of that Yankee stack. There you go. Last but not least, we got Jason Hayward. Call it Coors Field. Jason Hayward, he's about 55 years old. Going up against Marquez, he's batting 500 lifetime. Three singles, one HR. Even Jason Hayward can hit one out tomorrow on Coors Field, guys. As long as there's no goddamn stupid fucking weather concerns. Because they get these weird thunderstorms this time of year in the in the Rockies. So just watch for other weather reports tomorrow, guys. And for fuck's sake, I mean these these it's June. If you're on the East Coast or the Midwest, whatever, and you're getting rain delays or all this shit, it's, you know what? It's time to build a fucking dome. Okay, get a goddamn dome. MLB needs to get on that. All right, y'all. That's my rant of the evening. That's going to do it for tonight's Skywalker DFS MLB main slate video, guys. Remember, to get in that free chat, all you got to do is subscribe to my channel and hit me up on Twitter. I'll let you in the back door. You're in, all right? And don't forget about Draft Dashboard, $1 for 30 days. Shout out to everyone in that chat today. We killed it this weekend. Hopefully, you guys are all sitting there and counting your money Um, because I know I am. So, like I always say, let's get that bread tomorrow. 
And don't take shit from nobody. Go Warriors. I'm out. See you guys later.